hey guys welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to be showing you how to do your own colored acrylics using chalk i've been seeing this trend on tiktok for a while so i decided to try it if you haven't already subscribed to my channel click the bell notification so that you never miss a video and let's get straight into making our own acrylics so i bought these pastels off amazon i can't remember exactly how much they cost but i will leave them linked down below um and they come with 64 colors and they're extremely pigmented guys i would suggest that you get this brand because they are so pigmented and the color and the quality is just amazing so here you guys can just see me testing out the pigment and i was guys i was honestly shocked because i thought that these would come out so like chalky and not pigmented but these are actually amazing to use to do acrylic as pigments um, I will also try mica powders as well. I heard they're good. So I'll do another video on using mica powders to um, create your own colored acrylics. So the first color I chose was this nice, like bright blue. Um, I don't think I have a color like, actually, I think I do, but just a bit darker than this. So I, I chose colors that I um, don't have in my acrylic kit. But what I'm basically doing is using a 240 grit sanding band. So any fine um, sanding band will do. And I'm just using that to file the pastel into a powder. The finer the sanding band, the finer the powder will become. So you need to make sure that you're using a fine grit sanding band, nothing else. Any coarse bit, any medium bit will cause the um, pastel to um break off in like large clumps and you don't want that otherwise as you'll see if you don't mix it well um you'll get like little clumps in your um final product so you need to make sure that you are mixing well and that you're using a fine sanding band to um make sure that the powder is as fine as possible so that your pigment can blend well with the acrylic powder and i'm just getting my clear acrylic powder and i'm using the lid of the container to measure the amount that i would need and then i'm going back in with my um sanding band to mix the color and the um powder together in this i did not use white acrylic i've seen some other nail techs use white but i just wanted the colors to be nice and bright and nice and pigmented i didn't really want to alter the um shade of the actual pastels so if you would like to um change the shade then you can go ahead and add um white to make it more like a pastel color and um just to brighten it or make sure or make it lighter um but yeah that's what i did um and then after you'll see after each color i make i will swatch it for you um also one thing i would say is that make sure that you are using a good um acrylic powder make sure that the base because that's basically the base make sure that the base is really good and high quality clear acrylic or white acrylic depending on which one you're using because if you are not using a good quality acrylic the beads will not pick up properly when you use them um this acrylic that i'm using is from hollywood now supply um if you've watched my previous videos you know that i um don't really like it because of the bubbles apart from that it's actually a very good like it's a really good acrylic um so that's why i used it for this and the beads pick up really well um and the monomer that i'm using is from tnbl um this will all be linked down below in the description box so as you can see i picked up like a really nice bead there and the application was really nice and smooth and easy i didn't find it hard to work with at all i thought that maybe it would be considering the fact that i'm using like chalk to um use as the pigment but it was not hard at all to work with it was very manageable and um yeah the colors turned out really nice for a few of the colors though i did get a bit of like um large chunks of um chalk but that means that's basically on me guys i just didn't like blend it enough so i just need to make sure that i go back and mix it properly guys that's the key mixing it well so that it can all be nice and you know seamless and nice and you know blended and smooth and it can have like an even color so yeah i'm basically going to be doing the same thing for each colors if you guys want to see what colors i am um going to make just stay tuned in the video but that's pretty much it for the explanation part 
um so i will see you guys in my next video if you haven't already click the subscribe button to join the family press the bell notification so that you ever miss a video comment down below any questions you have or any other diys you want me to try and i will put that into consideration but that's all from me in this video guys i'll see you in my next one bye